I'm a former visa officer and today we're going to dispel one of the top myths about the visa interview process and that is about 221G. 221G is not a final refusal. Now, this is confusing for a lot of visa applicants and why? It's really, it's the embassy and the consulate's fault because they insist on sticking with language that's written in the regulations that's called a refusal under 221G. However, it just means that your case is pending. It means that they didn't make a final decision. A final decision will be made later. So 221G, even though they call it a refusal, even the piece of paper that they're going to hand you may say, you have been refused today under 221G. Please take note, if it says 221G and not another code like 214B, if it says 221G, that means that your case is still pending. It's not negative. Many, many visa applicants first have to go into 221G, which is just pending, before they reach a final approval of their visa, okay? A lot of people, you're going to hear them refer to this as AP or as administrative processing. Yes, that is what you are in. You are in administrative processing if your case has been put into 221G status. That is not the same process for everyone. You may read stuff online where people talk about, oh, 221G is this, administrative processing is this. 221G administrative processing can just mean something as simple as, oh, the officer's keyboard was broken and they need to go to a different computer to finish typing their notes. They would still put you in 221G, okay? It doesn't mean anything about, about some type of process or check or, or delay that's going to be entered into your case. It just means that you have not been issued right then. It also means you have not been refused at that point. You need to, when you get a 221G notice, you need to look at the other information that's contained in that slip that they give you at the visa window or in that email that you get telling you you're in 221G. They may be asking you for more information. They may be asking you to submit more documents. They may be asking you to come in for another visa interview. In every case, it's different. Sometimes it will result in a very long delay. And it's inevitable at this point, there are some types of administrative processing that some visa applicants will inevitably be put into that is taking a long time. We see clients of ours in administrative processing sometimes for six months. And this is the type that there's nothing you can do to speed it up. It can only go until its conclusion and then, and only then, can a decision be made to issue you your visa? In other times, in other cases, we can know from the communication that you've received, what you've been asked for, what's actually going on and being considered in the background, and we know how to spur some action, how to give them the information that they need in order to have the confidence to take your, cat, your case out of pending and into issuance. So if you're confused about what's going on there, consult with the experts. The experts are the ex-visa officers who worked on the inside who know what is happening when your case is in 221G. But 221G is not a final refusal.